Thanks for the privilege and welcome again to our next class as we continue with our mathematical series. Here in this class, we are going to continue with our quadratic equation. This time around by solution by formula method. Quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. But this time around, we said we're going to consider solution by the formula method. Solution by the formula method. Now, as we have uh, shown, this is the general form of quadratic equation. Now, but in solving this, I have said that we can approach these uh, equations using factorization method and also computing the square method. Now, this formula method is another method with which we can use in solving determining the set of solution of this uh, quadratic equation. Now, and the formula that we have is of this form. all over 2a. Now this is the formula. Now this formula that we have, we can also derive this using this uh, general form of a quadratic equation by using completing the square method. If you use the completing square method on this, you get this uh, formula method. Now let's consider a few examples um, 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 as we uh, demonstrate on how to go about it. Now, if we consider quadratic equations like x, 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0, to if we consider 5x squared plus 12x plus 3 equals 0, so if we consider x squared plus 15x plus 15x minus 7 equals 0, then if we consider 4, 3x squared minus 10x plus 4 equals 0, then 5, let's say, 6x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0. Now, this set of equations that we have, we are not going to solve all. The student, the class will solve some of them, but let me just use a few of them to illustrate using the formula method. Now, as we have shown earlier, these are the constants that we have in the various equations. Now, for A, A is here, which we can determine. B is also known. C is also known. Now, if we want to solve question number one, say 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Now, what is our A? Our A is equal to 2. Our B is equal to negative 3 and our C is equal to negative 4. Now the formula that we have is this. Now can we plug these things into that formula to see how the system will look like? We have negative B. But B here is already negative 3. So we have negative 3 plus or minus the square roots of b square, b is negative 3 all square minus 4 times a is 2 times c is negative 4 all into 2 times a where we have our a to be 2. Now if you look at this carefully 
you can see that we have succeeded in blocking all the various uh, uh, constants coefficients into the uh, equation. Now, uh, the next thing is just to simplify this thing to see how the system will look like. Now, from here, from here, now, from this equation here, this is the formula, but the way we normally write it is x will be equal to, because our interest is to determine the value of x. So, even in this case, we will have x be equal to that. So, our next step will be x will be equal to negative times negative will give us positive, so that term will be positive, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 times negative 3 will give us positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 will give us positive 9. Positive 9. Now, here we have negative 4, negative 4. So that negative times negative will give us positive. So we have plus already. This times this will give you 8. 8 times this will give us 8 times 4 will give us uh, 32 or this times this will give us 16 times 2, 32 we have 32 all into this times this will give us 4 this times that will give us 4 now if you solve for that we still have 3 plus or minus the square root of this to this will give us 41 will give us 41 all into 4 now if it's me I can leave it in this form where we have our x to be equal to 3 plus the square root of 41 all over 4 or our x is equal to 3 minus the square root of 41 all over 4. Now, I said we can leave it this like this because you can see that the denominator is has been rationalized. Uh, so, we can also leave it uh, like this. Or, we can look for the determine the square root of, uh, of uh, 41. Then, we add it to this. And, uh, depending on how you want the solution to be. But, these are the various um, set of solutions or to that uh, quadratic equation to that quadratic equation now let's consider another one let's consider another one where we have uh, 5 this that that 2 where we have 5x squared plus 12x plus 3 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 now in this case our a is 5, our b is 12, and our c is equal to 3. Now, the formula that we are going to use is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all in over 2a. Now, our interest is to now fix these uh, various terms. So, we have negative b we are sorry, we said x is equal to, so you say x is equal to that. So negative b, b is 12, so we have 12 here, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 12 squared, b squared minus 4a, what is our a? a is 5, and our c is 3 all over 2a which is 5 2a which is 5 now we can move further by saying x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus here we have 12 times 12 will give us 144 minus this is 24 times 5 is 20 20 times 3 will give us 60 all over this and this will give us 10 
So we can also still move further by saying x is negative equal to negative this plus or minus the square root of. If you subtract that, the answer will simply be 84. Will be 84 all over 10. All over 10. So what do we do from here? What do we do here? If you look at this carefully, we can rewrite this thing in 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 the basic form in basic form because from here we can uh, get a, a perfect square we can get some ten factors that we can square and we can have as perfect square so from here we have x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus 21 times 4 21 times 4 it gives us 84 all over 10 and if this we can also write as negative 12 plus or minus plus or minus if you square root this you have to into this all over 10. So from here, you can divide everything through by 2. By so doing, we are going to have, by so doing, we are going to have, by so doing, we are going to have negative x, sorry, x is equal to negative 6, if 2 comes here, plus or minus, if 2 comes here, this one is off, and we have 21, all into, if 2 comes here, we have 5. So our x, the solution set is either negative 6 plus the root 2, 1, all over 5, or x is equal to negative 6 minus root 21 all over 5 all over 5 so these are the two set solution sets of this quadratic equation these are solution sets of that quadratic equation now lastly i will want to also consider another one I will also want to consider another one. I will also want to consider another one. Now let's consider this one. Let's consider this one. If we want to solve this, that is, if we have um, 3x squared minus 10x plus 4 equals 0. Now, as we have been doing, our a here is equal to 3, our b is equal to negative 10, our c is equal to 4. And the quadratic equation that we have is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all in over 2a all over 2a so what do we do next we put in the values the various terms by so doing we have x will be equal to negative b is we have negative 10 plus or minus the square root of b square b we have as negative 10 negative 10 minus 4 a is 3 and c is 4 all into 2 a which is 3 now if we want to see the, uh, the solve this further we have negative multiplying negative here so we have x will be equal to positive 10 plus or minus the root of this one gives us 100 minus this times this this times this will give you 12 
12 times 4 will give us 48. 12 times that will give us 48. All over 6. 3 times 2 times 3 will give us 6. 3 times 2 will give us 6. So what do we do next? We simplify this other part for that. We have this. If we do that, we have the answer will be 52. 52. If we subtract that, it will be 52. All into 6. All into 6. Now, this thing that we have here, we can also rewrite this thing in terms of 4 times 13. 4 times 13. If we say 13 times 4, this to this will give us 12. We write 2. This to this and carry 1. This to this will give us or plus that 1. Will be fine. So, 4 times 13. So, we can rewrite this in terms of two um, two terms as four times thirteen. So this term here we can also write as four times thirteen. Four times thirteen. So from here we say x will be equal to ten plus or minus the square root of thirteen times four, which is the same thing as fifty-two all into 6. Now if you take the square of this, this one gives us 2 and we have x is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 root 13 all over 6 all over 6 root 13 all over 6. So what do we do? We can also divide 2 by 2. We can also divide 2 by 2 so that we have these terms as 2 come here we have 5 plus or minus 2 comes here, that one is off, and we just have 13, all into this one is 3. So our solution set is either 5 plus root 3, all over 3, 13 all over 3, or x is equal to 5 minus square root of 13, all over 3. So these are the solution sets uh, that uh, we have for that uh, quadratic equation. So you can see that with the formula method, irrespective of the method that you want to use, they are all pretty simple, either by factorization or by uh, computing the square method or using the formula method. Now, I want the class, the students, the audience to solve these uh, ones that we have not listened to. Refresh your memory with this. Thank you and God bless. And I believe with these uh, various uh, method of solution, you will be able to handle anything that comes your way in terms of quadratic equation. In our next class, we are going to consider other topics as we continue with our mathematical series. Now, before we go, try as much as you can to click on the subscription button. It won't cost you anything as you keep having notification whenever we upload new videos. Thank you and God bless.